low air drives embed friends. In the previous videos, the buck converter was introduced as a means of reducing the DC voltage, using only non-dissipative switches, inductors, and capacitors. The switch produces a rectangular waveform Vs. The voltage Vs is equal to the DC input voltage Vn, when the switch is in position 1, and is equal to 0 when the switch is in position 2. In practice, the switch, is realized using power semiconductor devices, such as transistors and diodes, which are controlled, to turn on and off as required, to perform the function of the ideal switch. The duty ratio D, is the fraction of time, that the switch spends in position 1, and is a number between 0 and 1. The complement of the duty ratio, D prime, is defined as 1 minus D. The switch reduces the DC component of the voltage. The switch output voltage Vs has a DC component, that is less than the converter DC input voltage Vn. From Fourier analysis, we know that the DC component of Vs, is given by its average value. The integral is given by the area under the curve, or D times TS times Vn. This is therefore the average value. So, the average value, or DC component of Vs, is equal to the duty cycle times the DC input voltage Vn. The switch reduces therefore, the DC voltage by a factor of D. Now, we insert a low pass filter. The filter is designed to pass the DC component of Vs, but to reject the components of Vs at the switching frequency, and its harmonics. To accomplish this, we design a filter, such that its cutoff frequency, is much lower than the switching frequency. The output voltage V, is then essentially equal to the DC component Vs. We suppose that the inductor, capacitor, and switch do not dissipate power. This is not the case in real world. When the switch is closed, its voltage drop is zero, and the current is zero when the switch is open. In either case, the power dissipated by the switch is zero. Hence, Efficiencies approaching 100% can be obtained. So, to the extent, that the components are ideal, we can realize our objective, of changing DC voltage levels, using a lossless network. This network, also allows the control of the output. Feedback systems are often constructed, that adjust the duty cycle D, to regulate the converter output voltage. Inverters or power amplifiers, can also be built in which the duty cycle varies slowly with time, and the output voltage follows. The Bach converter is just one of many possible switching converters. These are two other commonly used converters, which perform different voltage conversion functions. It is indeed possible, to produce any desired DC output voltage, using a passive network of only inductors, capacitors and embedded switches. In this first videos, it was possible to derive an expression, for the output voltage of the buck converter, using some simple arguments, based on Fourier analysis. However, it may not be immediately obvious, how to directly apply these arguments, to find the DC output voltage of the boost, buck boost, or other converters. The objective of the next videos, is the development of a more general methods, for analyzing any switching converter, comprised of a network of inductors, capacitors, and switches.